What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we're going to go over some market, not really market, we're going to go over the best snipe builders in 2K Pretty much, I guess you could say consistent. It's a bunch of different side builders. I, I'm saying top five in the video. It's gonna probably be like top seven, maybe top five. I don't know. We're gonna go over it. Um, guys, we're gonna have MT giveaway winner. So once we hit 300 followers, we'll give away 40,000 MT. So I mean, 300 followers on Twitter that is. So make sure to go follow my Twitter. Um, we did 120 likes on my video yesterday. That's crazy. Thank you guys so much for that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go. Top five snipers in this video. If you didn't check out my lock row vid, go check that out. It's going off right now, man. The views, the subs, you guys are goaded. We just out here, we going off. So yeah, keep dropping likes, keep subbing, keep doing all that great stuff for me. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, so top five snipe filters. Let's get into it. I do have a lot of MT. My controller is dead. Let's see. Alrighty. So just got yo. I've been trying to get bird. I've been trying to get Bird for who knows how long. But yeah, we're trying to get we're trying to get that Antoine Jameson soon. But yeah, forget that. Let's get into the snipe filters. First snipe filter, bro. A lot of people have been asking me what is the best snipe filter for low budget ballers. And this is the one right here, bro. Oh no, bro. We were so slow. Well, as you can see, that snipe filter is pretty damn good. I would have made like four or five K off that. Yeah, man, try out Amethyst 2000, bro. Try it out. What you want to do is pretty much you could do it this way, or you could just put up your maximum bid. Personally, I don't really use the maximum bid too much. I kind of just use move the buyout. It's kind of more fun for me. I don't know why, but yeah, it's up to you guys. This filter is straight cash. Definitely try it out. Um, pretty much anything that pops up besides Brian Reeves, man. Anything. Um, let's see. How much is does this start? 2600 Yeah, so besides like Bobby Jones. Pretty much, I think you guys should know the pricing by now. So yeah, whatever pops up, man. Oh, right there. How did I miss that, bro? Alrighty, well, miss another snipe. So yeah, try out this filter. Let me know how it goes. Next filter. Now, this filter is kind of cool. Um, this is what I'm gonna say. So, hmm. okay, so this filter is kind of cool. Actually, no, 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 forget that. I want to show you the minute bowl filter. Is it a bowl or minute bowl? I think it's minute bowl. Yeah, so Manupo, first off, he's low-key one of the best centers in the game. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. Let's see what he's going for, but this snipe filter right here is straight money. Um, Let's see, so he's going for around 30-something, I think. I do have him in my collection. I sniped out one for 7K, but uh, let's see, 34K. Wow, he went up a lot, man. This card's super rare, so yeah, you kind of want to sit on this filter for a really long time, honestly, this card is so rare. I'm gonna show you why he has rarity. If you guys don't know, Manute Ball is 7-7, and he has a 74-3 of 70 mid-range. He's a beast. Um, He's so lanky, so long, 98 block, bro. I haven't used him yet, but I know every year I use him in 2K, he's a glitch, so. I'm gonna be trying him out probably very soon. Um, But yeah, try out this filter, man. I've sniped out one so far. I wasn't on it for that long. It might be a little tough, but honestly, if you take 10 minutes, I get, you probably get one. If you get one, bro, you have to realize it is a sapphire. Since it is a sapphire, it should be thrown up a lot faster, a lot quicker. So try out this filter. Pretty solid filter. I only got one out of it. I'm not going to lie. Now next one. Okay, so next one, Pink Diamond. Here it is, Jeremy Lin, bro. I have missed I I never I haven't got anything on this filter. It is super competitive. I have missed I don't even want to tell you how much I missed. I missed everything. I've missed every mellow and kawaii that has popped up on this filter. I don't know why. I miss every snipe on Xbox. I don't know if it's an Xbox thing. I don't know if it's delayed. I don't know if people see it first. But this filter is straight money, even though I did get nothing. It's just so hard. It's just so damn hard. And I really want you guys to try to try to take your time on this filter. If you guys have any other pink diamond filters, please let me know because I do want it myself. I really do want pink diamond filters. I really want to try sniping pink diamonds with all this MT. So please let me know, guys. If you have any TMAC filters, any certain filters that you guys want to put out there, let me know on Twitter, whatever, YouTube. I don't care. I want to know some certain filters, but I like this filter a lot. 
um, try it out. I'm gonna go into the next filter and shout out to Logic Looks for this one. Diamond enabled. Um, he doesn't do enabled, so not really a shout out, I guess. I do it differently. I just try to get rid of most of my diamonds in the collection because I don't really have anything crazy in my collection diamond wise. So yeah, man. He does disabled and he puts his to around 5-ish K. I don't like that because it's gonna be a lot harder and a lot less consistent. So you could try it out his way. If just pretty much don't buy Earl and Row. I don't know how much Earl Monroe is, but I do have him in my collection. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't like this filter. Because of Earl Monroe, he destroys it. So, uh, yeah, 6,200, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, that's why I press enable. I have Earl Monroe in my collection. Put your stuff up to 20K or something. If you want, if it shows, like, you want your Maul Wilkes in your collection, Jerry West. Pretty much all the guys that go for, like, 15K or less. So, what I like to do is I like to go through positions. It's a lot easier to pass um, to find things, so try it out, man. I do really. I got a ton of K loves off this filter. I got a Jaron Jackson back then when he was really expensive for 20k. Now he was 55k when I sold him. So yeah, I've caught a lot of dubs on this filter. It's been money for a really long time, and 20k, 20k. It's been really good for a really long time, so. I would try it out. This is pretty much my best filter I've ever, ever done in 2K. This has been my money, my go-to filter. So let me know how it does treat you guys. It's definitely worth the sit on the diamond filter. It's a lot quicker, a lot faster than every other filter. Probably the most consistent filter in the game. But uh, yeah, I would say I would go over heat check filters and whatnot. But honestly, bro, the heat check filters have kind of died. The silver filters have kind of died. There's really nothing good in there. Um... I would recommend if you have like 30 KMT just sitting on these filters. I would definitely recommend diamond. Diamond filter, bro. You have to think about how many diamonds are in the game that actually have value. And you have to f really think about people are going to put up diamonds for cheap who have like a lot of pink diamond teams. Really don't care. They haven't had much MT. So try out this filter. Let me know how it goes because, yo, it's pretty, pretty, pretty money. So without further ado, let's get to the next filter now. This filter has been good for a really long time as well, based off market crashes and whatnot. Pretty much, man, Amethyst 20 has been my go-to filter also for the year. Have been slowing down because they did drop their base price. But, uh, yeah, man, Paul George has 6K. He's kind of hype beast. Wow, there's actually that many up for 6K. 6,200. So, yeah, this filter is actually kind of fast-paced. What you want to do... Drop down your maximum to like 62 and just look for LeBron, Giannis, Curry. Um, LeBron, Giannis, Curry. I forgot the other one. But yeah, try it out. This filter is low-key amazing. I've been using it all year. It was better about a month ago or two. But yo, it's still good because if you do get LeBron, Curry, Giannis, and Durant. Durant's a pretty good one you get. Low-key the best filter in the game. Also, man... I'm thinking of Pink Diamond Lillard dropping later. I'm not totally sure, but that would be kind of cool. I do want to see a Pink Diamond Lillard or even a Galaxy Oval Lillard. He is goaded right now. But, uh, you know, Giannis is probably still going to win MVP. Try out this filter. That's pretty much it. I mean, I'm just trying to think. Uh, if you guys want to try Frostbite Diamond filters, that's not bad either. That's probably the last filter I'm going to show you guys. Uh, Frostbite, I went the wrong way, unfortunately. Frostbite Diamond Filter is pretty solid as well. Where the hell is Frostbite? What? Or is it winter? It's winter, right? It is winter indeed. There it is. So Diamond Winter. Throw up that price to around 20-something. Try to stay away from your Antoines. You want Pippin and Aladipo. Of course he's that cheap. And of course there's so many up there. So yeah. Try it out, man. 19k. Pretty much anything that pops up besides Antoine Walker. Honestly, you can buy Antoine Walker for 19k or less. That's my methods. Try to get him if you want to Evo him. He's actually stacked at Pink Diamond. So try out the Diamond. You can get Paul Pierce. Not Paul Pierce. You can get um Scotty. You can get Victor Aladipo. And yeah, this filter is pretty money as well. And yeah, that's really all I got, guys. If you do want MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, DVDJ. They're my new sponsor. They're really good. They've been around for years. So try them out. That's really all I got, guys. Hope you did enjoy the video, man. The sport's been crazy. Keep dropping those subs. Keep dropping those likes. We're going to have some gameplay soon, man. I've been working a lot, like I said. Once we get some time off, bro, we'll drop some gameplays for you guys. Don't worry. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one.
Peace.